Hello, my name is Chris Duncan. I'm the trade show and event specialist for Balif. And today I'm going to be demoing our fastener sequencing demo. And uh, this demo shows how our smart light indicators and smart light tower uh, can work in a real life application along with some RFID technology, some inductive or photoelectric sensors to provide operator guidance. And uh, all of the information that is being communicated for this application is through the network, uh, going through a PLC using IO-Link. Um, and that is going through one of our master blocks here. This is a Profinet master block. It's connected to a Siemens PLC. And, uh, but Balif provides master blocks in all different kinds of field buses. So CC Link, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, and so on. So to start the actual application that the demo is showing, I'm going to take one of these pallets and bring the tag in line with the RFID read write head. And now the information is going to be sent through the network and the PLC is then going to determine the correct recipe and inform the indicator light which bin to uh, select the screw from. And uh, Balif offers read write heads in many different form factors as well and different frequencies like low, high, and ultra high. And so as you can see, the uh, smart light indicator is now directing me to the yellow bend. It's giving me the color and the direction that I need to pick from. So these smart light indicators uh, can be programmed to show different colors. Um, it can be programmed to show different blinking speeds of each segment. There are many different operating modes that these come in. Uh, similar to our smart light towers, you have segment mode, run light mode, and even level mode. These lights were offered with or without a photoelectric center, sensor in the center. And this demo is actually featuring uh, these lights with that photoelectric sensor inside. It's this black dot here. So as I go to pick up the screw from the bin here, the photoelectric sensor senses my hand. And I will set this into the pallet, give it a couple of turns. And uh, after I have started to screw, that into the appropriate hole. Now I'm going to look to the smart light tower to let me know which socket I need to grab in order to finishing uh, fastening it into the hole. The smart light tower is programmed in a flexible mode and that is to guide me as the operator to the color and the position of the socket that I need in order to perform the next step in the process. Smart lights uh, offer the ability to program things like color for each individual light band and we call that flexible mode. There's an M8 expansion hub behind the smart light tower that is connected to M8 proximity sensors that are next to the tool, tool holder. And so whenever I pick up the socket that I need, the proximity sensors sense the absence of the metal and it moves to a run light mode. This run light mode is telling the operator that it needs to complete the next step. In this case, it's going to be fasten this screw. So I fasten the screw onto the pallet a little more, and then I am going to set this back into the tool holder. Now that I have set it back in the tool holder, the proximity sensor senses that it's back and moves back to another run light mode that's telling me I need to move on to the next step. The next step is going to be told to me by the, uh, by the indicator light, which is saying I need to pick from the green bin, and it's pointing me in the direction of that green bin. So I will grab the screw. As you can see, it sensed my hand as I uh, put it in front of the uh, photoelectric sensor. I'll set it on the pallet, give it a couple of turns, and then I'm going to repeat the process. The smart light is in flexible mode. It's telling me that I need the green band, that it, the green socket, by showing me these green bands, and it, that the uh, socket is in this position here. So I will pick that up. Proximity sensor switches, uh, senses that it is gone, and I will now screw that on, set it back, and, uh, and now that uh, it senses that the socket is back, uh, it tells me in a segment mode, green means all good, and I will move on to the next pallet. This demo helps show how to connect multiple devices through IO-Link to create a complete solution. In this case, some RFID, a few proximity sensors, and some lights arranged in this way help guide an operator to perform a task quickly and accurately. This helps reduce training time and makes the task 
overall easier for the operator. For more information on the products that we discussed in this demo, and for the rest of Ballast product portfolio, please visit www.ballast.com.